can't believe you're here. Danny and Junior are gone. They left. They're gone, Fred. And Thomas August. is evil mastermind that August. infiltrated Genius Cinema from the inside. And he owns Tom's Theater. Fred. I know. <laughs> and we had this contest and we lost and now he owns the theater. <laughs> and, and, and we didn't know where you worked. We didn't know. You know? Yeah, Ace told me. But she just got here. She texted me. Oh, there's this new hotshot manager coming, Fred. He's gonna be here any minute. Corporate sit him down. Corporate meaning Tom? I guess. Where's Ace? I don't know. You don't know where your own sister is? I mean, I called her and then she didn't answer, but that's just pretty much how she normally is. But let's clean this all up before the new manager gets here, all right? Jenny's workers. Technically, we're Tom's workers. Oh, well, we want to keep the small town feel that the Jenny's name generates. Hi, I'm Charles. Fred. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. August. What? That's your name. Fred and August, this is Bridget, your new co-worker. Hello, nice to meet you. I was informed that there were three employees, um, uh, but we have a lot to discuss and you can't get me down. Now, I've known in the past that you've had some varying, sometimes completely oppositional methods of management. Uh, you know, a constant tug of war of how things are supposed to run and uh, untamed emotional outbursts. Now that Jenny's has merged with Tom's, we will introduce a new set of policies, all with the unified goal of increasing employee productivity and increasing ticket sales and concession sales. Yes? That's two things. Um, you said that the new policies would lead to a unified goal um, then you said employee productivity and, and ticket sales. <laughs> yeah, that's two things. I can see why you were promoted, August. You really pay attention. Yes, those are two things. I want you both to be the best Jenny's workers as possible. You know, come into work prepared to handle anything, serve popcorn with a smile, guide customers to their seats, and always arrive on time. Also, most important, Excuse me. Excuse me. Ace. Ace. What? Employee number three. I was discussing with your coworkers how they should never arrive late. Now, I will be conducting interviews with all three of you throughout the day. It's been nice getting to know y'all. Uh, Fred and August, go ahead and return to your work. Ace, was it? Please, join me in the projector room. Tom has told me all about you. No passion, always late, rude to customers and other employees, struggles with authority, and doesn't wear deodorant. That was one time. Tell me, Ace, why were you late? Why does it matter? Why does it matter? <laughs> late, being late, why does it matter? The world runs on a schedule. Ace, if everybody was late to their jobs, society would crumble. Sure, I guess. Do you know what separates you from other employees like August? Yeah, about 30 IQ points. I exactly. You were smart enough to realize this job is, well, boring. And a little degrading and not worth $7.25 an hour. Yeah, it doesn't take a genius to figure all that out. But... 
you do work for Tom's theater chain. So what you're gonna do is stand up straight and smile. Do you understand? I guess. Yes or no? I already answered. Yes or no? Yes, fine, okay. Happy? Great. Keep up the good work. Bridget, keep an eye on Ace today. Oh, and one more thing. I'm gonna put a review box outside the concession stand, so that way the customers can give us a little feedback on your helpfulness and services. Can I help you? Well, for starters, you cannot be on your phone while on company time. What? Your phone while on company time is to remain in your pocket. Well, it's an emergency. Did a family member die? Uh, no. Is a family member seriously injured? Not yet. Are you dying? Only internally. Then it's not an emergency. So, what's your name again? It's Ace. Well, how am I supposed to know your name when you're not wearing your company issued name tag? I can just tell you my name, but how am I supposed to know that you're not a trespasser, a criminal, or an imposter? What are you doing? Reporting a suspicious person posing as an employee. <laughs> the safety of our customers and employees is no laughing matter. And what do you know, Brenda? I've been here for years. I think I know how to do my job. <laughs> All these years and still no promotion? At least I haven't been late or insulted the manager or set the place on fire. Hey, I... I, 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 I well, we'll see who lasts here longer. And it's Bridget, see? Hi, how can I help you? You must be our janitor. Tom's told me all about you, Freddy. It's an honor having such a talented artist as yourself sweeping our floors. I, I mean, I just, I just do my job, go home, and sometimes get paid. That's the attitude I love. I value a man who respects his work. All right. So, there's gonna be a lot of changes in the next few days, and I doubt that the others have the drive to keep it up, especially Ace. You know, one bad review and... I... Oh, uh, keep on keeping those floors clean, Fredo. Do I wanna taste the rainbow, or do I wanna break off a piece of that Kit Kat? I know what I wanna break. Why not get both? With these movie theater prices? How about some popcorn? I'm allergic. I'll make the decision for you. Skittles! Whoa, wait! I can't make this decision too rashly. It's the wrong candy choice and they could ruin my entire movie theater experience. Then why didn't you make that decision before coming here? I'm not sure if I like your tone. Are you ever sure about anything? Um, I'd like to see your manager. No. Wait, I'll go get my... Boss. Hmm, this is a dilemma. I mean, the wrong choice and you can have a terrible movie experience. That's what I said. But all your employee here did was give me a dirty look. Oh, that's just her face. <laughs> You're right. Okay, we'll offer you both candies if you forget uh, our terrible employee's attitude. You've got a deal. Well, that was the embodiment of managerial status. Oh, it was nothing. I have a, my minococcal shot, so I'm all good. Is there anything else I can do for you? Uh, yeah. The ticket booth means garden. Got it. Okay, do you want to talk about why you relate? Well, I... Indy. Indy and I had a fight. It was stupid. I don't understand. I mean, it's not like she's your girlfriend. <laughs> Who's not your girlfriend? <laughs> He's not a girlfriend. Sure. Um, August, it's, it's your turn in the interrogation room. Really? <laughs> 
Ace. Charles. Oh no, I gotta clean that up. Ace, you wanna give me a hand with that? No. Listen, Charles is gonna fire you if you get a single bad write up. What? Are you kidding me? No, he's he's a dictator. He's determined to make all these changes. And why do you even care? You didn't even bother to help us when Tom's theater competed against us. I know, and I'm sorry, but I couldn't pass up a chance to go to the National Janitor's Convention. National Janitor's Convention? Okay, okay, I feel bad, but is it really that hard to pick up some garbage? Okay, look, you need to keep your head in the game. I don't want to see you get fired. Okay, I'll try. But you knocking over everything doesn't help me any. Put out a massive, dangerous fire. Man, you sure have a knack for saving the day. I, I just did what was best for this place. I sure love employees that are eager to do anything for their job. I mean, I, I wouldn't know where I'd be if I didn't have this job. <laughs> Wonderful. So, if given the opportunity, would you hire Danny back as manager? Uh, uh no. I mean, yes. It's a tricky question. <laughs> You're a bright young mind. Oh, uh, thanks. Uh, Ace, Ace usually says I have. Uh, I'm a. I'm a dumb butt. Speaking of your sister, do you think she's a hard worker? I yes. Uh, sometimes when she has to be. Interesting. Who would you consider is the weakest link? I don't think anyone is. If you had to pick one, if anybody came to mind. No, no, no one, sir. I think everyone is great, and we're actually gonna do better because you're here. If she wasn't your sister, do you think A should still work here? <laughs> you're funny. You almost had me there. I think we're gonna be good partners. Welcome to Jenny's. Hi, uh, who are you? I'm Bridget. It's my first day. That's nice. Um, have you seen Kate? Hey, Andy. Where's Ace? Ace? Um, she went out, actually. Isn't she supposed to be working today? Well, yeah, it's it's a work outing, actually, for new popcorn. Uh, that, 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 that batch has been contaminated. Mmm, this popcorn's so good. So contaminated. She's under the counter, isn't she? What? This counter? Nah. Hey, why are you hiding? I don't owe you any explanation. So you're just being rude for no reason? You know the reason. We talked about this, Ace. It's not a big deal. Later, Indy. Not right now. Ace, this isn't worth losing your job over. Try to keep it together for the rest of the night. Where can I find the women's clothing? Hi, section? there's a gross stain on my seat. Is Jenny here? Can I get popcorn with butter at five sevens full and then again at one night? Women's clothing? Yeah, isn't this like Macy's? The janitor can help you with that right away. You're the only worker I see right now. Uh, that's only one eighth full. Oh, she doesn't work here anymore. Why so? Legally, we can't say, even with the 50 bucks we got out of it. Uh, sure, over there. Well, wait. What kind of stain is it? It's a bit sticky, it doesn't smell good, and it's all over the seat. I, I think it's, uh... Oh, yeah, thank you so much. Don't forget to leave a review. Look, and you put a note in the review box. I bet she made something up just to spite me. 
Really? I mean, I know that you guys are fighting, but do you really think that she would do that? I can't risk it. You have to help me. Okay, and how am I supposed to do that? There, there's no point in both of us getting on Charles' bad side. I'll handle Charles. I just need you to distract Bridget. Alright, how am I supposed to do that? Oh, there's... Bridget! There's, there's a fire in the theater! Out of my way. Watch and learn. Fire again! What are you doing? Working concessions. What are you doing? Um, a lady lost her ring in here and I was helping her find it. She was real worried. Sure, but uh, I should warn you, we put all kinds of hazardous waste in these beds. Like what? Just make sure you wear gloves. needs you over in the theater. I know you and Charles are trying to drive me out, but it is not going to work. I've been here a lot longer than either of you. This is my home and you are not going to take that away from me. Ain't he the darndest guy? What? Charles, isn't he the best? I mean, I, I bet he could do anything. I, I bet he could tie a shoe in three seconds with, with the arm behind his back and walking. <sighs> And I bet he makes the best pot roast. I will let him kill me. Yeah. What's that? Oh, it's nothing. Just some note I saw. Ace reading. Bad review. Ace? Just one? <laughs> He's really upset by it. Well, I was just kidding, but we do have to show Charles. He told us to keep an eye on her. I don't think that's a good idea. I... Uh, uh, let's do it. Now, okay? Hey, sis! What is that? Uh, this, this is a uh, piece of paper I, I tore up and uh, taped back together. Let me see it. Uh, no, I have to show Charles! This is his artist! You were gonna show Charles? What the hell, August? That's just like you. What do you mean that's just like me? You know what I mean, traitor. And if by traitor you mean having good traits, then yes. Hey, 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 what is going on with you two? She, she got, got a bad note, and she's always been jealous, jealous ever since kindergarten when I was the lead in Peter Pan, and she got to like a little selfie, and she's the life. worst. I am thoroughly disappointed in you both. I expect a certain level of professionalism for everyone who works for me, be they a model employee or a loudmouth, lazy cashier. Oh, Miss Review, I'm so nervous. No, August, I don't think you have anything to worry you worried about. The cashier lady was nice. She directed me to the lingerie. Huh, that's interesting. We don't have lingerie. I'm just that good. Okay. Ace was nice. She made my popcorn good. Short and sweet. What made it so good? I made it with love. She got a... Wow. I'm, I'm not even going to say that word. You got a stain out? August could do better. I wrote that one myself. Wow. August, always willing to improve. I love that. Wow, Ace, you've got an exemplary compliments today. So I'm not fired. 
Great. Not so fast. Just one more thing. Why'd you two fight today? Ace, was it your fault? It was my fault. I was a bad brother and co-worker. I take full responsibility. August. As usual, I am thoroughly impressed by your honesty. I love that. Well, if there's nothing else here, I guess y'all are free to go. Hey, August, wait a sec. What? I just wanted to thank you. You really saved me back there, you know? Well, I always do what you want me to do. Right? Lobby temperature cold, theater acceptable temperature. <clears throat> the janitor was staring at me, but I kind of liked it. The bathroom was so clean. I left my number on the stall if that hardworking young man is interested. Look, I even got a winky face. Hey, I think this one's for you. Ace Fletcher. The most hardworking, admirable, and stunning employee Jenny's has to offer. To be honest, the only reason I chose Jenny's over Tom Cinema is because she works here. Love, the only reason you guys are still in business. Indie. P.S. I come here a lot and I've never gotten the chance to watch a movie with you. We should fix that. Look, I got a winky face too. She's shining.